Hey, what's up, guys? It's Illusion. I've had a lot of you uh, asking me for doubles tips, stuff like that. So I was going to go ahead and show you one. Uh, this is a game I played at Isolation. Let's go ahead and bring it up. I had a uh, kind of bad teammate on this one, but I uh, went ahead and just did a couple things to, uh, to make sure that we didn't lose. So let's, let's go ahead and start this up. It's Team BRs on Isolation. So right here, I told him off the start, I was like, you go ahead and concentrate on getting the ghost. And uh, I'll get rockets. If he has ghosts, odds are he's not going to die unless he tries to splatter them or he flips it. And I just told him just to spray them with the guns and not try to splatter people because that's just stupid. Plus the plasma rifles that are on the uh, ghost take their shields out really fast. I always let the other team go for rockets first, so when they come down, clack them once in the face, the arm in the head, they're done. So right now we have complete map control. We have ghost and rockets. Only the power weapon sniper, which I figured they would probably grab. So that's the first place I look when I shoot up. Glance over there to the sniper, they're not there. Then I see a guy in shotgun, I call him out, have him spray plasma so he can't be army. Pop a rocket in there, I know he's one shot, finish him off, watch out for a spiker. So right here I reload, give it two or three seconds for him to respawn. My teammate calls him out there at snipes. We head that way. I, I figured they were probably going to drop top mid or bottom mid. That's where most people tend to go. I just told them not to flip the ghost. And just get us, let us get set up. So right here I see a guy in front of me on my radar. See that he's getting shot with plasma guns. I'm not even going to bother wasting a rocket. Just take him out with the BR. The other guy ran, ran somewhere underground. So I'm going to go ahead and look in their little room where the uh, region spawns at. Got the rockets out so that way I can shoot him through the window. Right here I pop one. Thought I hit him. Shoot another one. Finish him off. The other guy's one shot. Runs back. There's no finish. I saw I had sniper rifle though, so I call that out to my teammates. I'm like, you gotta have a sniper. I'm gonna go ahead and waste this rocket so I can get the sniper. He's done. Got a killing spree right there. So now I have the sniper. Right here, I'm gonna do some stupid stuff with the sniper just because I'm trying to practice my no scopes. I already got my BR down pretty well, so I'm just gonna practice no scoping. Right here, he hits me once, so I'm gonna clean him up with the BR. So my teammates got the other guy top mid, can handle him with the ghost. I'm gonna go ahead and get my shields back so I don't go up there and get out BR. Well, right here my teammate says, oh, I flipped because I tried to splatter him. So I shoot one right by his head. I'm not sure that wasn't a headshot. Hit him in the leg. Switch targets, but you should never do. I do that twice this game. So I should have just sniped him and finished him off. So now I'm in a regen, and I'm going to play around and try to no-scope him. I know he probably has Needler. I should pull out the BR here, strafe and out BR him, but I'm going to try to no-scope him instead. Which I miss right here. I get hit by, like, three needles and die. Um, that's the great new update. It's... A lot of the weapons are way weird now. The Needler, two or three of them kill you, and Snipe, half the shots don't even count anymore. Plus, there's a lot more lag. So right here, my teammate calls out that he's got one on him. Zoom in. I either hit him in the back or missed him. I couldn't tell. But I see this guy on my radar, so I'm going to go ahead and out BR him. See, I'm telling you, strafing is where it's at. Don't try to jump around and stuff like that, because if you jump, you're still pretty easy to be shot. If you strafe real hard, crouch a few times, most people won't out BR you. Right here, I leave the shots on him. He's trying to snipe me. He gets taken care of. The other guy's trying to be army. I hop right here. I throw a grenade. It sticks, which is lucky it didn't kill me. So yeah, make sure if you throw grenades in here, you don't hit that little sandy spot because they'll just stick in the ground. Right here, I'm calling my girlfriend. My girlfriend's calling me, so I answer the phone. He calls out there beside me. This is just embarrassing right here. This kid's got, kid's got shoddy. I take care of him. My teammate gets the other kid, so now he has shotgun. And I think right here I'm talking on the phone. I'm bad about that in matchmaking. I talk on the phone and text a lot. He calls him out top mid. He gets taken out because he has Needler, which is a complete waste of a gun. Right here, that kid gets tore up. Other guy shoots me to the ground. Watch this. That's the lag I'm talking about. I was actually behind that wall, and somehow I managed to die. So right here we got 16-4. to 4. I'm not really, really worried. I bet that we're going to lose this game. So I hop up here top mid, check my radar. There's a guy right there, I see his name blowing. So right here, he gets out BR'd. Right here, I should have stayed on him, but I switched to Warrior. But it turned out well. I was pretty sick. Out BR'ing both those kids at one time. Give them both a good little tea bag right there. Let them know what's up. So right here, I grabbed Snipes. And I think I'm either... I was texting right there. So right here, I see this kid pop him once in the chest. And BR him. I don't necessarily try to shoot him in the head when I have a BR as secondary because you can just hit him anywhere and then BR him. It's just as easy. And most people panic when they get sniped anyways and just start running. I try to no-scope and miss. Right here, I just, just like I'm just going to out-BR this kid. 
right there. See, on sensitivity 5 is what I like to play on because you can actually, you know, spray your bullets. Right here I read radar. I know he's coming up the portal. I get ready for the no scope. He comes up. Once in the chest. I miss the headshot. Right there I get him, but, you know, of course he's going to be a rocket whore and hit me. So I remembered where my rocket was at right here. I'm actually texting. My teammate's getting pissed because he's that guy's one shot. Had, not, had I not been texting, I'd have killed him. So right here, I run out of ammo. But a little trick you can do, if you throw a nade and hit reload at the same time, you'll get one bullet, which finishes him. This other guy's spraying bullets at me, and then switches to my teammate. That's why you should never switch targets right there. Because he switched to my teammate, and I got away and ended up coming after him to kill him. Right here, I read my radar. see that there's a kid underground. I know my snipes is around here. So I grab it. Right there, he tries to bounce a nade off the wall. I end up just smacking him twice. So right here, I'm going to set up on this little ramp with the sniper. I was going to get up in a tree with the sniper, but I was like, oh, we only need three points. So I'm going to help him. This kid's trying to use the AR long range, which is pretty retarded. He gets out BR'd, and that will happen every time. I see the other kid back here on the wall. Call him out to my teammate. Tell my teammate to get shotgun. I hit him once in the leg. I was just like, you know what? Nade him. You'll kill him. Missed the headshot just barely on that guy. Right here, he throws the nade in, kills the guy I hit first. So now he's going to BR the other kid. Go ahead and get the reload. He calls. I got him. Don't worry about it. Game over. That's how you run. That's how you run narrows, or not narrows. Isolation. Hope this was helpful to you guys. Uh, leave me comments if there's any other ones that you want me to uh, post. I'm gonna do a couple of them on how to strafe and Gandhi hop and stuff like that. I'm gonna try to get my brother uh, Peter to P to make one on ninjing because he's pretty good at when people are chasing him to jump over their head, come back behind him, and hit him in the back. It's it's nasty. He's done it to people with overshield a few times, so. Guess I'll hit you guys up later.